All right, pull out those bandages because your heart's about to be broken. Uh, we're talking Robin's Wish on Film Threat Reviews. I'm Alan Ng, I'm with Zarina Kit, and we're talking about Robin's Wish. Uh, before we begin, just want to remind you to like, subscribe, and comment below about what you thought about the film. Robin's Wish tells the powerful story of actor-comedian Robin Williams and his final days. Um, I guess the best way to start off is, Zarina, what, what, uh, what is your experience with Robin Williams as a, as a film well, critic? You know, I, I, I don't know about you, but I feel lucky enough that during my career as a journalist, I've had the great fortune of interviewing him several times. Um, so, uh, and also I, I've seen his shows live as well. I've seen him do his stand-ups in front of crowds of thousands. So um, news of his death really just got to me. I mean, it got to everyone. He, the man is still beloved and the passing was so sudden and way too early. Yeah, for me, um, I, I never got to meet him, which is, uh, I would have I would have loved to. I know many people who have. For me though, it was like, you know, I as a kid, you know, Mork and Mindy. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I started getting into improv comedy myself and, you know, he was, you know, as much as he is known for his improv, his style of improv is so frenetic that that was like, well, I could never live up to that. But just to kind of be in the same category as that with him, um, you know, I, f I just find uh, being an honor as well. And yeah, it was his death just came out of the blue for me. It, it, I didn't even see it coming. Uh, you know, you just w weren't expecting it. And I, my, my biggest frustration with news, media, dirt sheets, gossip is just how wrong they got the story, you know, the, as they were talking about, you know, he killed himself out of depression. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they brought up uh, things in his past, like addictions and stuff. And that was the story that was going on. And, and it's not until Robin's Wish you realize they had it all wrong. Yeah, they did. And first of all, this is a, a disease that I don't think anyone's really heard of unless you work deep in the medical profession. And yeah. We don't even know what this is. We're all yeah, learning about this disease for the first time while watching this documentary. Yeah, you, you learn, okay, so it's diffuse Louis dementia. That's what killed him. And, and the even sadder part is they didn't realize it would happen until after he died. They didn't realize he was suffering from this until after he died. This is a documentary that couldn't have been possible until his wife decided to really dive in and research what this disease was and then kind of go back and reconfigure and reconstruct those final months, weeks, days leading up to his death because that just illuminated a lot of things knowing that information. And you know, the, there's a lot of medical professional who yeah. in this documentary, which is important. It adds a lot of validity. We have a lot of his longtime friends as well. But what's also crucial is we have the people that were around him in those moments, the people who worked with him on Night at the Museum 3, yeah. the people who worked with him on that David E. Kelly TV series with Sarah Michelle Geller that he was doing. We have his, his neighbors. I mean, we it, it was so intimate to 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 be privy to that that when the documentary was over i felt like for the first time i had closure with his death and i actually yeah. really wanted to just thank everyone who was in this documentary for helping me give that closure yeah well, one thing that i found what one thing that i liked about the documentary is it, it's not your typical hey, this is Robin Williams' life, and here are all these famous people who worked with them and how he felt. This mm -hmm. movie literally divides, is divided in half, 50-50, about his career and about uh, Louis, diffuse Louis dementia. And, um, and I also like the fact that there are not that many celebrities in the movie, but what, what makes up for it are the people who did know him close, his best friends, his neighbors. He has a neighbor who, who was talking to him the night before mm -hmm. uh, he died. And um, and I think right there is, you know, we, we know his career, but I think what you really got was not only the person that Robin Williams was, but, the, but how his life was changing or how this dementia was changing him uh, up until the final days. Yeah, the struggle that he was going through and the confusion and just the fear and insecurities. Like when they 
when they had to sleep in separate rooms and 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 his own fear and insecurity around that and uh uh and him being concerned for a friend of his in the middle of the night and feeling the compulsion to go over there and check on him there were lots mm -hmm. of things going on in his head that we learned that was happening at that time it was very fascinating and really makes you want to go gosh i hope there's a cure for this because you yeah. don't want to lose anyone to this type of a disease. Yeah, and sadly, it it, it was Robin Williams who who brought it on the map for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's you know, I I didn't think uh, there could be a documentary that showed you a side of him that you've never seen before. Because I think for the most part, we've we got a good picture of who he was, but you know, this really dives in pretty deep. Uh, what what one thing that really struck me the most was he. Um, you know, whenever he ran into someone who was depressed, uh, you know, severely depressed, his, you know, his comment was always, wow, I'm not the only one. And that, you know, that, that just showed me that, you know, we're, we're getting to a point in society where talking about this stuff is talking about depression, talking about mental illness is becoming, you know, acceptable. And, and, and we're less, less judgmental of that. Yeah, that's really important, and and we do see that uh, when he goes and does these USO tours, and he's meeting with these soldiers who are really struggling with all sorts of uh, PTSD and stuff like that. And you know, here's Robin Williams cheering them up, thinking that this guy has not a care in the world and his life must be perfect. And he was the first to say, "No, I, I bet that's what you actually think, but it's uh, no, it's not true, not true at all." Yeah. So it uh, was. Um, uh, it was nice to see a vulnerable side of Robin through recollections of the people who knew him best. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so based on what you've said, uh, I think uh, you know how much it, it touched you, the story, how how much of a fan you were of his. I'm gonna say that you gave Robin's wish a ten. Well, you know that implies perfection, and it's mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's what I would like to give this film but then that means there's no room for improvement. And I think there's always room for improvement. So I'm giving this film a nine. For you, I would, um, I mean, I know that prior you told me that you're really selective with your nines and 10. So it's gotta be either a nine or a 10 for you. Yeah, it's definitely a nine, not to get too far in the weeds, but I get to give a 10 while working at Film Threat. And so, uh, you know, it's it, something's got to really earn that one. Yeah. But but this kind of, I mean, if you are a fan of Robin Williams, this is the documentary to see. There are documentaries that have a filmmaking style that come with, you know, maybe reenactments or uh, certain mm -hmm. visionary work. This is not one of those. This is pretty much a talking yeah. head documentary with clips from uh, from his life. So the filmmaking style is very basic uh, to what a documentary is. So from that standpoint, it's nothing special, but it's because the information is what's special. It's, yeah. it's what we discover that makes it so, so special. And it's so nice that it is a standard, typical structure of a documentary because the information that we get is priceless. You know, and, and I'll also say that, you know, they're not presenting him as this brilliant comedian that he is. But really, I felt like this was a guy I wish I had known. I mean, that's that's how I, that's how heartfelt I think this documentary is. Yeah, it's I think that if you are at all interested in Robin Williams uh, or a fan of Robin Williams mm -hmm. or a fan of things Hollywood or film related, it's definitely one of those documentaries that you should see. And if yeah. you're a fan of even like medical documentaries, yeah. this is this does have that component and it's done well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well that's Robin's Wish. Um, for more reviews and news on independent films, please visit us at filmthreat.com. And with that, let's get out of here.